Hello learners. The human body is a single structure, but it is made up of several smaller structures of four major kinds. It is cells, tissues, organs, and systems. We all look different from outside, but have same internal parts, which performs a special role or special function. These internal parts, also known as internal organs, are located inside our body beneath the skin. and cannot be seen or touched directly brain heart lungs kidney liver stomach etc are some of the examples of internal organs now we will take an insight into these internal organs one by one the brain when it's come to our body the brain is the boss it is one of the most important organs in our body it is located in our head and is protected by the heart skull It looks like a grey wrinkly sponge which controls almost all our actions. It is the brain where we think, feel emotions, make decisions and control the rest of the body by sending and receiving signals. Our brain has billions of neurons that send and receive these signals. The human brain weigh about 1.5 kg. Although the brain is a small organ, but its energy requirement is much more than the other organs the thyroid gland the thyroid gland is a small organ that is located in front of the neck wrapped around the windpipe also known as trachea it is shaped like a butterfly smaller in the middle with two wide wings that extend around the side of the throat it is a vital hormone gland which plays a major role in the metabolism growth and development of the human body Iodine is one of the main building blocks of the thyroid hormones. Iodine is absorbed in our blood streams from the food in our bowel. It is then carried to the thyroid gland to make thyroid hormones, thyroxine which is also known as T4 and triiodothyronine which is also known as T3. The windpipe or trachea. The trachea commonly known as windpipe is a tube about 4 inches long. and less than an inch in diameter in most people the trachea begins just under the voice box and runs down behind the breastbone the trachea then divides into two smaller tubes called bronchi one bronchus for each lung it is a key part of the respiratory system when you breathe in air travels from your nose or mouth and passes through trachea to your bronchi which then carries the air to your lungs the lungs We have a pair of lungs in our chest cavity. The lungs looks like sponges and are cone shaped. They are big and fill most of our chest cavity. The main purpose of our lungs is to absorb oxygen from the air. The lungs expand when we breathe in. The inhaled air has oxygen which the body needs. The lungs contract when we breathe out. The exhaled air has carbon dioxide which the body doesn't need. Our lungs also trap harmful substances from the air that we breathe. A sticky substance called mucus that is present in our lungs captures harmful substances like dirt and bacteria. When we cough or sneeze, mucus along with these harmful substances leave the lungs. A common disease involving lungs is asthma. It happens when the tubes through which the air passes become narrow and it gets hard to breathe. A healthy lung is pinkish gray. while a damaged lung looks gray and can have black spots too the heart the human heart is one of the most important organs responsible for sustaining life it is a muscular organ about the size of a fist the human heart functions throughout a person's life span and is one of the most robust working organ which is located between the lungs in the thoracic cavity and the average heart beats about 70 times in a minute The main function of the heart is any organism is to maintain a constant flow of blood throughout the body. This replenishes oxygen and circulates nutrients among the cells and tissues. The heart also ensures that adequate blood pressure is maintained in the body. The food pipe. The food we swallow passes through a pipe which connects the mouth to the stomach. This pipe is called food pipe or esophagus. It is a path for passage of food and is the uppermost part of the digestive system. The stomach. The stomach is a muscular organ located on the left side of upper abdomen. The stomach receives food from the esophagus. 
The major function of the stomach is to store and digest the food and liquid one consumes during meals. It produces hydrochloric acid and enzymes to help digest food and other foreign objects like bacteria. This acidic environment of the stomach kills the unwanted microorganisms. The stomach muscles contract at the regular interval to churn the food indigested and thus helps in digestion. Spleen The spleen is an organ in the upper part of the abdomen to the left of the stomach. It is commonly fist shaped of purple color and about 4 inches long. The spleen plays multiple supporting roles in the body. It acts as a filter for blood as a part of the immune system. All red blood cells are recycled in the spleen and platelets and white blood cells are stored there. The spleen also helps fight certain kinds of bacteria that cause pneumonia and meningitis. Pancreas The pancreas is located behind the stomach in the upper left abdomen. It is surrounded by other organs including small intestine, liver and spleen. It plays an essential role in converting the food we eat into fuel for the body's cells. Pancreas perform two main functions, exocrine function that produces substances or enzymes that helps with the digestion and endocrine function that sends out hormones that controls the amount of sugar in the bloodstream. It is 6 to 10 inches long. Its white part is called the head of pancreas. Central section is called the neck or the body and the thin end is called the tail. The liver the liver is a reddish brown and cone shaped organ located below the lungs in the upper right abdomen and weigh between 1 kg to 1.5 kg. The liver is the largest solid organ in the body. It is an essential organ that performs over 500 vital functions. These include removing waste products and foreign substances from the bloodstream, regulating blood sugar levels, and creating essential nutrients. Liver also produces bile a fluid that is critical to the digestion and absorption of fats in the small intestine. The liver removes bacteria from the bloodstream and prevents infections. It also removes excess glucose from the bloodstream and stores it as glycogen. As needed, it can convert glycogen back into glucose. Apart from this, liver also stores significant amounts of vitamins A, D, E, K and B12 as well as iron and copper. Gallbladder Gallbladder is a small pear-shaped organ located under the liver. Its primary function is to store and concentrate bile, a yellow-brown digestive enzyme produced by the liver. The gallbladder serves as a reservoir for the bile while it is not being used for digestion. The kidneys The kidney is a bean-shaped organ located in our abdominal cavity below the ribcage. Healthy kidneys filter about a half cup of blood every minute, removing waste and extra water to make urine. The urine flows from the kidneys to the bladder through two thin tubes of muscle called ureters. Kidneys also remove acid that is produced by the cells of our body and maintain a healthy balance of water, salts and minerals such as sodium, calcium, phosphorus and potassium in the blood. Without this balance, nerves, Muscles and other tissues in our body may not work properly. Kidneys also make hormones that helps to control blood pressures, make red blood cells and keep the bones strong and healthy. The intestines, small and large. The small intestine is a part of our digestive system. It is a muscular tube which extends from the lower end of the stomach. When food leaves the stomach, it enters the small intestine also known as small bowel. The small bowel or small intestine connects to the large bowel, also known as large intestine. The intestines are responsible for breaking food down, absorbing its nutrients and solidifying the waste. Most of the digestion in our body takes place in the small intestine. The large intestine turns food waste into stool and passes it from the body. Bladder the bladder is a triangle-shaped hollow organ located in the lower abdomen. The main function of bladder is to store and empty the urine. The bladder's wall relax and expand to store urine and contract and flatten to empty it. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.